Okay, so uh, welcome back everyone. Hope you are having a good day. So our Q&A session is going to be just uh, a session for you guys to ask about the project and anything you want uh, related to the program. And uh, we will give you a deeper uh, explanation on them. So the floor is all yours. Um, so any blockers that you have faced or anything you want to add, you're all welcome. Yeah. Gitari, you can go. Uh, hello. Yeah. Uh, I, I hope, okay, the 10 Academy team has interacted with Canva before. And uh, okay, this is where my question narrows down to. Uh, okay, in according to how I've judged the task one, uh, maybe this is like a poster and um, open to corrections if I'm wrong. So, my question is uh, uh -huh. uh, should we just create one page for task one, or uh, how should we go about it? Thank you. Okay. Um, uh, okay, is there any questions or should we just uh, answer this one? Okay, um, so yeah. Um, uh, okay. So uh, for your question, I think if I, uh, I'm just going to say back to you and if I'm missing something, yeah, you will correct me. So you're asking if you need to create a new page for every task, right? Or oh, I'm, I'm asking for the content that is supposed that, that we are supposed to deliver for task one. Should we have it in one page or several pages? Um, specific to task one only. Yeah, yeah for task one, you are asked to create a Notion profile and add or invite us, right? And on the page, you're gonna have a section that describes, so you, you can, uh, that describes the content or the, what you want, you are considering to do. So you are advised to use LLMs or uh, actually Notion has its own uh, AI and you can use it too. So the whole uh, part one is, yeah, one uh one page and task two is another page because uh, the database is going to be a new page so yeah basically you're gonna create a new page for each task but uh, of course task four is going to be another platform uh, called type form so yeah you're gonna have a session tomorrow on that one um did i answer your question or Uh, yeah, I think it's answered. Thank you. If there is there any other question, yes. Uh, yes, zero file. Okay, thank you for <coughs> the uh, My question is: there are the several components in task one as Kitar asked, but my question is, uh, what type of logo can we use? I mean, can we depend on the title? So what's the title? I think uh, so the real title is not given but we can give the title for yeah so am i right the icon the icon yeah uh, the logo or the icon is going is should be aligning with your events right so if you're having um if you're having an event for let's say um uh awareness about uh, health or anything your logo should be something similar to that 
So we're not going to limit you, but yeah, it should be similar. Okay. Uh, uh, yes, how do this? Okay, thank you. Uh, on the notion that you guys shared us on week three schedule, uh, there are some boards, right? For every for every day, there are multiple activities. So when we click the board, a separate page will be opened. Uh, what kind of block did you guys use for this purpose? I just wondering. So that's the event. Uh, so the view is what differs them, right? So yeah. you can have it in a table. You can have it on a board. On a board, so, yeah. Yeah, so it's just the type of view that we used. But no, normal, it's a table. Okay. Yeah. So it's a table. Yeah. But as I've told told you, uh, you can uh, change the view as we have done in the morning. Uh, we have seen how we can use um, other views, right? Okay. Do you remember? We we have seen how to use the timeline, right? Uh, timeline yes. view. Yeah. So yes. just as Dart, uh, the board view is just another way of viewing your database. Not nothing else. Just uh, if you want to try it, you can just create your. Make sure just to create your uh, database table and fill out it. Uh, fill out your uh, table and then you can choose what type of view you want. Just as we have seen in the morning. So as you as you guys used it, when I click a sim, when I click the uh, when I uh, click I some part, it, it will give us another window. I think no, uh, no. Let me just show you. I think it's better that way. Um. So can you see my screen? Yeah. So this is your schedule, right? Uh, yeah. The U2J week three so yeah. the original view is this one the original the, the database is this one the table okay. right okay. so um once you have filled it like this like okay. the date and everything you can choose um, board view timeline view calendar view list view gallery view and a lot more right so this is on table view but you can change it to um the board view is what you are seeing right now on your schedule, but you can change, change, change it like a list, a gallery, or anything you want, or a calendar. So it's just the view that's different. So, for, so you are saying that first we need to fill the data. That's after that we can we can change it. To change it. Yes. Thank you. Okay. It's just um, a, a just page. To yeah. add on that. Uh, I think Abdulaziz's original question is when you click, um, for example, day one stand up. It pops up another window. Yeah, exactly. That's that's what we call yeah. the the detailed view. Uh, what view? It, it will be. It, it's like a detailed view. For example, yeah, for your yeah. guests, for your guests, you will have a list uh, that will list maybe just the names, right? That, yeah. that guest is uh, related to the database and when you click the name of the uh, guest you will have the detailed information about that person like the email address uh, etc etc so yeah it, it's a kind of view but that one is a bit detailed okay. i hope that helps. yeah thank you Okay, um, so for Jen, I just shared the morning uh, the morning slides on the comment, but uh, it will be also available on the drive, so you can just uh, go through that. Okay, any other question? Let's, let's use this time because um, I think it's good that we communicate uh, 
if there is anything you want us to help you with. Maybe I can add yes. more um, yes, on Bubakar's question and also uh, Gitiri also asked earlier. Uh, on the landing page, um, you shouldn't populate it with um, each event uh, gallery, profile, testimonial, etc. So what you'll do is you will uh, embed sub pages or links for the different uh, uh, sections that you are asked to add, right? Uh, which means that the landing page has to be very appealing and not that populated. Uh, the link that I sent you yesterday will help you how to create a landing page. Uh, it's not the home page. The home page is more detailed and it will have different sections, of course. Uh, and also links. But when you create a landing page, um, uh, it should be very appealing and not that populated. So you need to use uh, a sub page, a sub linking, et cetera. Uh, don't populate that page with, uh, for example, in the gallery section, uh, you are not going to put all the pictures there. Rather, you will create a sub page and you call it gallery and you describe the gallery. Uh, but when you click, it should go to either a sub page or uh, somewhere else. Uh, uh, even the event details, um, uh, etc. Those has to be like a, a link. And when you click that, you should go to a, a sub page. You can you can design in in that way. I hope that helps. Thank you. It surely helps. So I was asking, how is there a way we can change the the layout background of that land uh, of that landing page? You mean the the background color or the background? Yeah. What do you mean background layout? If, if you if you say the the landing the landing page should not be much populated, yeah, then it has to have a few links with something like a uh, attractive background. Um, not necessarily. It's when you you see that the, the page will be a collection of blocks, right? So those blocks might be uh, like the event details the gallery, uh, the testimonials, those will be different blocks and you organize them uh, so that they will be more appealing, right? So uh, the, for example, for the event details, you, you describe it, but you will link it to a sub page. When you click the sub page, it will take you to the uh, event details that contains uh, maybe the schedule, the uh, speakers, etc. So uh, on the landing page. Yeah. On yeah. The, on, on, on the event on the details. Page. Yeah. I'm asking on the event details. Is it necessarily must I should place a table, or I can just use a description? Uh, no, I'm I'm talking about the landing page, right? On the landing page, you put uh, details. Uh, like a title for a sub page, right? And you yeah. add some description to it, right? But when you click that uh, event detail, it will take you the uh, the sub page that will describe everything related to the event, including the schedule, uh, the participants, the guest speakers, etc. Right? But on the landing page, it it will be um uh, one text with some description or you can add uh, a picture with it uh, something like that okay okay yeah 
Kerod, uh, go on. Uh, maybe Gitaria or Abdul Abdulaziz. Hello. Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. go on. Okay, I'm um, also facing another challenge here, and it's about uh, when it comes to maybe positioning uh, pictures on my logo. Uh, at the specific point, I want to position it uh, on my page. I'm dragging it, and it is not uh, really dragging yet. Where, where do you put a logo usually? Uh, it's oh. usually at the top, right? If you remember yesterday, we put an icon, right? Yeah. So instead of you, you, you will click uh, add icon and then you okay. upload your uh, logo instead of uh, using the icons. Okay. Uh, okay. That, that will be uh, some part over the cover uh, and some part will be above the the title of the page that's where the logos is supposed to be not not in the page in the landing page okay. you understand okay. yeah yeah uh but okay but maybe in the future when i want to maybe position my 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 picture at a specific point eh? how do yeah I go? You, you can you can move it around it's a grid right uh, for example if you uh, put lists of pictures vertically okay instead of vertically yeah. you can arrange them uh, in a grid format so uh, it depends on your design you can put it wherever you want okay. Okay. yeah thank you abdulaziz Okay, thank you. Uh, as you have said, just to be clear, uh, on the landing page, on the landing page, there should be title, logo, and brief description. After that, there will be some event detail. Under the event detail, there will be some page, right? So Easy. under the sub page, uh, so we need to add the schedule, right? The start time and the end time. So what kind of log do you do you suggest to me? Like what? Uh, what are what kind of blocks? Uh, block are going to you see that? That, that, that's for you to investigate, right? Uh, okay. Look for websites that uh, do event planning or uh, some event announcement, right? So when you see their landing page, uh, for example, for the event details, they, they don't put it there on the landing page. Rather, it, it, it will be a kind of link and with some description. Uh, maybe the the start date and the end date between these ends. For example, if it's a conference, um, it starts uh, on April thirty uh, first and uh, up to May fourth, right? But the detail of that event will be a sub page in 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 the case of Notion. When you click it, you will go to the event details, which will contain uh, those. Uh, the, the schedule, the main uh, speakers, etc. Right. So the the schedule will be inside the uh, event details sub page. It, the the design is up to you. You have to explore and find something appealing and try to mimic that. That that's what I advise you. Yeah. Collagio, go on. All right. All right. Thank you for the explanation so far. There's a person. Um, I think it's countdown or something. There's an external link that we have to get into the into our device. I don't seem to see the link to that um external um link. Uh, sorry, come again. There is uh, a particular there's a particular um external third party link that we use during the training in the morning. 
they are able to use for the countdown of our events to say, okay, this event is holding in three days and there are seconds. I don't seem to see that external link in the documents, in the challenge document given. Uh, Kerut, can you try to answer that? I don't really get it. Jake, can you repeat the question, uh, I said, said in the morning when we were having the class on Notion and database and all that, we use a third party, there's a link from the World Cup, the challenge yes. document that was given that helped us to um, impute the number of these countdown, like countdown, which yes. we now copy yes. the link and now embedded it into our notion. I don't see yes. to see that um, external that link inside the document. On the document, it is available. I just share, shared it on the comment section. And also I will, I'm just sharing it on the, the drive right now. Uh, you are breaking up, but okay. Yes, it's shared right now. So, other questions? Hello. Yes. Obakano is asking that the logo link mentioned in the challenge document is not working on my side. Is there any other? Uh, which logo link? Uh, Uh, sorry, Bubakar, could you please, um, I, I, I don't understand the, the logo link. What do you mean logo link? There is no mention of logo link in the uh, document. Bubakar, can you speak up? Hello. Oh, uh, you can't speak up. So uh, the the suggestions are uh, pick a logo that aligns with your event, right? So for for that, uh, you can try to get a logo from uh, Copilot or Loglipsum. That that's what. Says and you can click. Oh, you, 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 uh, it, it's working. Uh, mine is working. Yeah, I hope that was your question. I will try. Okay. So the the feeder guests should not be on the landing page. 
um, it, it depends. Uh, if you want to give more focus on them, you can you can put their pictures, right? On when landing, you on see the... on the landing page, yeah. If if that gives the the landing page an appeal for people to see, yeah, you can. It's it's just like uh, a conference poster or a conference announcement, right? That's what a, a landing page should look like. Yeah. The, the basic elements of your uh, uh, event will be on the landing page, but the details will be behind, either in a sub page or in a link. Uh, yeah. Any other question, guys? And uh, ask your questions. Can you maybe tell us how many sub pages are are required, like in this project? How many sub pages should I sh should it be a must to be in the in the in the in the final in the final thing? Uh, it, it it's not the, the, there there is no a fixed number. You you have to go through the tasks, right? Uh, for example, uh, the, the uh okay I know, the, I know, I know. the event just, yeah for, for example for the event right uh there there is a schedule uh, uh main speakers or participants that those might be in the same page uh on the landing page, on the landing page. no no on not on the landing page they will be in a sub page of that landing page. Uh, the, 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 the three bullets, the schedule, the main speakers and why they, they attend, uh, et cetera, those will be in a sub On page a inside the landing page. That that's will be yeah. one sub page, right? Yeah. The same thing for your gallery, you will have one or even you might have a sub sub uh, uh, page. So it's it's all about the design, your creativity. So they, there is no fixed number of uh, pages or sub pages. I'm thinking if maybe if many people go that route, then the landing page will be pretty basic and will lack appeal. Uh, Sorry? Uh, my connection. Uh, ask, ask other questions. Let me find a, a landing page for anyone and I, I will try to explain. Okay. Rod? Yes. Gerard, are you there? Uh, just take over for a minute. Um, okay. So, any other questions? <clears throat> I 
Um, okay. Uh, are there no questions? Uh, Um, okay, I think it's taking a bit much time, so um, maybe. Uh, Okay. So, Stan, are you presenting? It should be something like this, yes. Um, yeah, this is good. And, uh, yeah, this is good for a landing page. So, all these should be links. For the page? Schedule. Yeah, for the page, this, yeah. For the landing page. No, this is the landing page. These are for the pages. I think I've shown you in the morning. Yeah. I don't know if you remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get you, I get you. Yeah. So, yeah, so it's, they're going to be available and you just have to be, um, you just have to drag them. I'm just asking for clarification. So by tomorrow I should present a functioning landing scape, a landing page where, all these links are functioning or just the the layout and a few clicks here and there, but the other pages should be a work in progress. So the landing page is a mess. Uh, so what the minimal uh, thing is you should publish your landing page. Just as, uh, as I've shown you in the morning, uh, just have a landing page and you can work on the rest after tomorrow. But make sure to have a landing page that's well organized. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, are there any questions? Any suggestions or any requests that you have for the tutors? It's also. Uh... Uh, hello? Yeah, literally. 
Oh, I think it's uh, actually it's it, uh, it's very good that Sosten has shared his uh, work, and I've noticed something. <laughs> Maybe yeah. I'm very lost and sustain. Thank you for sharing your work. At least maybe now I have a clue of what video should deliver. Uh, so I'm just requesting uh, maybe from 10 Academy. Maybe if you have uh, if you have other maybe landing pages that have already been worked on, maybe you could share with us here so that yeah. Okay. We can know so, what is the picture of us. I think what Sosten shared is not his work, actually. It's from the way, right, uh, Sosten? Yeah, so, yeah, it's from the web. Yeah, so that's what we actually encourage you to, to do so. Um, so if we give you a landing page, it could only be one uh, style, right? So it's better for you guys to uh, search and find your style, your own, and apply your own style instead of us just showing you one way to do it and just li limiting you guys to that. So um, so just uh, going the web, I think uh, Yaya was also sharing his screen and show, showing uh, from the web. There are a lot of designs. You can also find some on uh, Notion pages, actually. There are uh, templates. So yeah, just uh, uh, go through them and find what you like and work on that one uh yeah sorry the the network was not working uh ca can you see my screen yeah uh so th this is for example um a landing page right so that's the 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 title uh th this is not notion right so don't worry about the, the background, rather the, the elements or the blocks that you want to put, right? So this might be the different elements uh, with some description. When you click this one, it will take you to the detailed uh, page for this specific uh, block. For example, this might be uh, the uh, event detail, right so you will have event detail maybe starting from this and this but when you click the event detail that the the sub page will give you the detailed uh events including the schedule the guest speakers etc so you you have to uh, come up with a design something like this so you have to uh experiment or find your way to get a, a, a good design for your landing page. Yeah. If, if I may ask. Sure. If you can, if you can just go back to that that example. Uh, yeah. If maybe we want, I want to put my contents, my landing page contents to be on the middle block. Yeah, you can do that. Maybe if you can go through that. Go through what? How, how, how in, when using Notion, how I can yeah. center my, how I can center my divs or my blocks, my text blocks. Uh, uh, as I said, when you say center, horizontally or vertically, it's a grid, right? You have different blocks, then you can uh, put them around. Uh, let me just show you. Maybe that that would be easier. Yeah, because it uh, seems like I'm, no I, I missed that part. Uh, you could check the the what you call it the YouTube. It's already uploaded. Uh, you, you remember this one? This was vertically aligned but we put them in a horizontal. So let me just add something here uh, in the middle, um, maybe a bullet list or different, I don't know. What can, I, I don't need to add. Um, uh, let me just 
add bullets. Ooh. Uh, list. Why is it not working? Try to do. Hmm? Try to do. To do list. Uh, no, I don't want that. Uh, the to do list. <laughs> uh, I want. I want the bullet. Uh, I just want to show them a, a grid one, right? You see this one? I can put it anywhere I want. I can put it here, right? You see? So th this is now at the middle, horizontally and vertically, right? Uh, I can put this uh, GitHub section if I want to. Uh, where is it a table? Okay, so if you want to make a list, a bullet list, you just have to uh, uh, write a dash and a space. Uh, why is this not working? Uh, wow. uh, yeah, so list one. And then what I will do, I will, I will duplicate this. Control D. Why is it not working? Control D. Uh, you can just uh, dash in space. Yeah, yeah, I don't think my mic is audible. It's, it's, it's audible. It's Control D. Why is, why is it not working? Anyway, so I have this list, right? Uh, let me add one more, and then you can, you can arrange this uh, in different ways. For example, I can move this next to this one, which is here, right? And maybe this one, I want it to be here, right? So there are different ways. I can put them horizontally if I want to. I want three of them at the, at the top, right? So consider this page as um, a grid. So you can put the different elements um, uh, at any position you want. It's just drag and drop, right? Yeah. Uh, you can you can uh, watch the the YouTube video again. I think that's enough. Yeah. Okay, so any other questions, everyone? If not, if everything is clear, just give me a thumbs up and we can end this call. Yes, yeah. Um, kindly, I wanted to know how is the interim submission being submitted? Um, like usually we do a link then turn it to PDF format. So for this specific one, how is it going to be? Yeah. Um, so you're gonna deploy uh, deploy your landing page, right? So it's going to give you a link to your landing page, and you're gonna submit that link. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So uh, everything is clear, everyone. Okay, let me just stop the recording.